Welcome, peace, pleasure, and power from the equator to all you upper kind from behind the screen. I am Lord Equator. I do not know where I am right now, but what I can say is that palms are doorways to other palms. Um, stick around uh, with me. We could uh, meditate, breath awareness, give good vibes to... Uh, uh, personal favorite, the 3D Los Angeles Lakers uh, basketball team of the third dimension. Um, we will be rooting for their victory. This is the last, hopefully, game of the, the finals. Um, Lakers are up 3-1, um, fingers crossed. Statistically, uh, uh, they usually take the series uh, when they're at a 3-1 lead. Hey, Chris Cole, stay wavy. Big palm to you. Uh, go 3D Lakers. Thank you guys for joining me. I am Lord Equator. Um, to repeat, I do not know where I am right now, but by the looks of it, uh, it seems that Palms are doorways to other palms. Um, stick around with me and I will always be willing to elaborate on the power of palms and how. Something as mundane and as simple as a tree uh, can just be the closest reminder we have that Palm trees are essentially the hand of God. Uh, it's the source that is touching you, reminding you to uh, relax and let go. Open palm, and with the breath, strong inhale, have that oxygen filter down to your lower lungs, uh, have your belly emulate the breathing as the air pushes the belly out. No resistance at all. Exhale with no force, just let it seep through your nostrils. And palm trees are pretty much our... No, ongoing reminder to align with the source, the power of the all, or uh, God, if uh, you're one with that. Mark G. LaFleur, thank you for joining me. Stay wavy with extended fingers and open palm to you. I wish you peace and blessings, and uh, go 3D Lakers, waving to you. Right, when it chimes, um, I will not be able to respond, and when it does chime, and I uh, become silent, I hope to spread some meditative energy through this live stream. So if you stick around, or if you just happen to walk in on the live stream while I'm silent, then just know that you can join in and be a part of the energy zone of uh, meditation through live stream I'm not a pro but uh, omens say that uh, I'll eventually get the hang of things alright light up this sage despite all your sage I am still just geeking this cage of palms. Uh, life is all about palms. Uh, not only the tree, but the ones that we carry with us all the time that execute all the mental objections that we assign to them. Uh, we forget the power of palms, the power of hands. We 
uh, don't recall as to why we call these trees palm trees. They're the hand of the source. They're the hands that remind you to be at peace, stay palm, and let go. Wishing all the ultimate infinite vibes to the 3D Lakers. Um, we'll be sending them the Mamba energy, the Mamba mentality tonight, and they will bring us uh, another ring uh, to the uh, third dimensional community. Next time, we will have a more extended chat about 3D realities, 4D realities, um, down the line, uh, six dimensional realities, uh, which you see right here, uh, called the equator. Um, I am Lord of the equator and my world is entirely a coastline and there are people zapping in from lower realms to join me here for the peace, pros prosperity, and uh, pacific desires that the palms bring. So that chime any second now. Uh, I'm trying to vibe to a new process of timing and this live stream and I have a, a 10 minute chimer that will go into another 10 minutes uh, while we do our breath awareness meditation. And if you're just joining us, uh, uh, join me in wishing the best to the 3D Los Angeles Lakers basketball team. Um, we Let's hope that they take in a victory. Um, we can use uh, uh, good vibes um, considering the whirlwind of sorts that we're all you know, captivated in. And if you're joining me just right now, I am Lord Equator of the Equator. Um, I am not really sure where I am right now, but what I can tell you is that palms are doorways to other palms. Thank you for joining me. Uh, it's going to be chiming anytime soon. Uh, and when it does, I will assume meditative position and hopefully you can join me and we can practice our breath awareness together. Practicing breath awareness is a very crucial lubricant to um, Body and mind, uh, heart powers up the mind, but the heart is powered by the breath. So once you're more conscious of even the most subtle breath, you'll be able to have a stronger sensitivity and honing of, you know, the emotions that come to rise and fall, the thoughts that can potentially trap you into something invasive and uh, unwelcoming if you just remind yourself to take a breath, inhale through the nose, hold at the top,
I just discovered something during the breath awareness meditation. I feel like it's a thought that has uh, come across my mind before, but um, I don't know. It's practical, I would say, if uh, you want to um, really put a visualization to uh, you know your lung capacity and breath awareness, other than the navel uh, focus, the navel gazing, whenever you have your eyes closed and you want to uh, explore the expanse of your own breath, you would pay attention to your navel, the rise and the fall of your belly button. Um, like I said the other day, um, if you were uh, watching, uh, lung capacity, usually when people... Uh, inhale with their upper chest projected uh, they don't take into consideration that more lung mass is at the uh, lower portions of the ribs um, close to your stomach so if you wanted to uh, emulate uh, full uh, lung capacity of oxygen you would pretty much think of your tummy as one big lung. I think that would streamline the entire breathing process if you were to want to really isolate, focus down to the very singular mo molecule of oxygen coming in and out. Coming in, uh, oxygen doesn't come out. Um, I would like to give a shout out to um, LBJ. Um, not who you're thinking of, maybe uh, LeBron James uh, bringing home a victory in tonight's game five against the Miami Heat. Um, the 3D Los Angeles Lakers are up 3-1. It'll be game five, uh, and according to statistics, Lakers usually take the ring uh, when they're at a 3-1 lead. Um, one can only hope. Uh, but I have strong confidence and um, kind of esoteric shout out uh, to LeBron uh, for being number 23 um, upcoming October 23rd um, word on the wire not sure myself but big shit is gonna happen uh, not really sure of the words I could project out to you right now, but word on the high line says that a big shift in consciousness is going to happen. A total reversal of groupthink uh, can very potentially happen on October 23rd. It is uh, some shit to do with the alignment of the stars. I don't know. I'm not an astrologist. But I uh, do observe an uh, integrated feeling that I can bring to myself whenever I can uphold some breath awareness, being out in nature and really integrating with Mother Earth and hearing what she has to say. Uh, very glad that uh, you guys can join me on these live stream meditations. It really helps me be more integrated, be more sociable, uh, especially when it comes to the 3D world. Um, people are not so privy to socialize despite having all the utilities at our disposal. Um, oh, yes, uh, I will be having a group meditation at 7 p.m. tonight, so if you could join me on Facebook Live for that. Um, that'd be great. You could see me and all the others that I will be sharing energy with. But if you don't, it's okay. I will be assuming that you will be watching the 3D Lakers go against the 3D Miami Heat. Um, but if you're so inclined to um, uh, pop the live stream, Facebook live stream on your phone while you're watching the game, then maybe we could all, you know, merge our collective energies together and bring the 3D Los Angeles Lakers home another ring. Um, yeah, uh, let me show you the setup while uh, I got it live going on right now, see. Um, at uh, 
some part of the equator uh, on the coastline, uh, the whole world is just one big coastline. Um, and there's the sunset, uh, and this is my setup. Uh, we've got the sage burner, couldn't get it started because it's a very windy day. Uh, uh, Book of the Dhamma. Dhamma, um, if you are disinclined to look up, it is just another, you know, uh, ubiquitous, ubiquitous word for Mother Nature and our relationship with it. Uh, but that is all. Uh, I hope you can join me for the 7 o'clock group meditation. I will be palm tree teleporting to the group setting. I am told that it's going to be at a turtle pond at the Caltech campus in Pasadena, California. Um, so join me for that, if not, and I will assume that you're going to be watching the 3D Lakers. Um, let me give uh, palms to uh, ones that gave me a wave. Stay wavy, Michael Patrick Bruin. Uh, a memory with this guy. I did a stage play with him out in Hollywood at a small playhouse. Uh, very good memories. Michael, big palm to you. David Dickman. Uh, really good friend. Uh, from middle school, I believe. Yeah, we, we've known each other since middle school. Um, always big homie. Um, like to uh, really condense all the hometown vibes into a gang of sorts, so whenever I come into touch with one of the old faces, uh, like to get into a, a, a gang vibe. Uh, it's a slang term, not like shootouts on the streets and it's, it's you know it's a, just the camaraderie type of feel david um uh, if you uh, see the others tell them i said what's up i hope to be joining you guys soon if you guys are going to be watching the game tonight um uh, maybe i'll teleport over and join you um because as i said palms are doorways to other palms miles gabriel um Thank you for joining me. Big palm over to you. Stay wavy. Uh, yeah, that concludes it for uh, this uh, pre-game five on the spot meditation. Um, join me next time. I will be on top of my scheduling commitment so you guys would uh, know when to watch on the next occasion. I'll probably be sending out more stable times over the Instagram story, so keep an eye out for that. And last but not least, I am Lord Equator. Keep your palms open and don't hold your breath. <sighs> Bye.